obviously I've watched it many times. I understood that it's really important to share with you the difference between heat fixed and not heat fixed fabric paints. And uh, some of the paint swatches bled. It's not a laundry test, it's a bleeding test, all right? So. I've absolutely avoid because otherwise the brightness does go away. So for today I have a very interesting experiment. Uh, it's gonna be live. The only thing I have done uh, behind the scene is uh, I have ironed this side of uh, paint swatches. Uh, I repeat again that I'm testing jacquard textile colors on washability and bleeding of the colors. This uh, live test is gonna let you understand uh, the difference between heat fixed and not heat fixed fabric paints. What can happen if you have if you suddenly um, forget to iron your painted design on fabric? Uh, what will happen if you will not do it because, for example, you think that uh, time will do the job, like paints are gonna get uh, so dried up, like they will just basically, you know, stick. To the fabric on them on their own so no need for ironing them so the inspiration that i got for this experiment was the previous painting one of the uh, first paintings i've done uh, with jacquard style colors uh, when i did swatches of the paints and in my initial paint test um, i have accidentally uh, spilled some water on my finished design right after i've completed the recording of that video and uh, some of the paint swatches bled. Well, that was a real uh, surprise for me. I knew that some paints can do that, even though they are dry. But some fabric paints, uh, they actually are already waterproof on the initial stage, like uh, once just, just once they are dry, after let's say uh, four hours or a day, then if you just spill, I'm uh, gonna spill water on them or make make them wet without um, detergent. I mean, just like you know, if if the fabric is gonna be wet with the painted design, uh, paint will not go away anywhere. Like you know, it's just it will stay there. Uh, but some fabric paints are very sensitive to water, and that time I have found out that jacquard turned out to be one of this kind of sensitive fabric paints. Uh, since obviously I was not recording at that moment, I understood that it's really important to share with you, those who are interested in painting with Jakartic style colors, uh, because this is a crucial point in working with fabric paints. Knowing and understanding why we need to do a proper job with heat fixing of painted design. So what I've done here, I uh, used my uh, eight paint set of Jakarta style colors. I have put six colors here, uh, seven colors here and here, uh, with the exception of white color, because obviously we won't be able to see it. I have made sure to separate two areas while heat fixing this side and not touching this one. This uh, paint swatch was done around two weeks ago uh, and of one week after the paint was done, I have heat fixed it. So the heat heat fixed area has also rested for a while. You understand? It doesn't mean that now I'm going to spray the area which I've ironed, like basically test it on permanence right after I've ironed it, because that's against the rules. You remember from the lessons that I give in uh, foundations for fabric painting open course that when we heat fix the paints, we still need to let them rest on our painted garment uh, for as long as possible, at least three to seven days. Okay, so let's move on with the test. I have prepared a water spray, regular water, without any soap, because this will be just, it's not a laundry test, it's a bleeding test, all right? I'm gonna equally spray water on either sides and I do it you see, very, gener uh, very generously you can see that what is just here okay 
I do not expect it to run and bleed just like watercolor immediately, but um, the thing that happened to my painting that time is I um, there was this a little stain next to uh, my painting, and so I uh, w w made it wet. So I put a little bit of soap. I wanted to get rid of it, just a little bit on the side, and. I then after I rinsed it, I have squeezed and I have accidentally touched the swatches next to it. You know what happened? The paint just spread on the near nearby areas. So I am now thinking can I achieve the same? If not, that would be wonderful. But yes, it happens here too. Um, I believe you can see that blue and purple have already started visiting the neighbors. I'm gonna do it once again. Yeah, you see it just comes out on the table. I'm not doing anything sp particular, I just squeeze it in my palm. Okay, so we'll keep it this way and I'm gonna do more water. The same thing with the heat fix part. I'm, I'm sort of like uh, as if draining it. Yeah, for now, nothing. Everything is in a place. Yeah, well, the car paints are really uh, soft, <laughs> so the fabric is really soft. And uh, there's no bleeding on the heat fix side. Okay. I Actually, I want to add for how long I've been heat fixing this side. I set the timer. It's just for the sake of this uh, paint test. I don't do this usually. I go with the um, with the flow, but uh, normally the suggestion is to iron it for three minutes. So that's what I did. I just want you to understand that even though it's not that visible on video, because I'm only squeezing it manually, if this piece of cotton will go into washing machine, all these untreated swatches will stain the fabric all around. Not nice. Okay, now the next level test is a little bit tougher. Some fabric paints, even after heat fix, can lose some of the upper layer of pigment if you try to rub it when the fabric is wet. And you can see that jacquard is also one of them. It is not much, but it is there. We don't usually do this type of check and it's not a pain bleeding. However, it's good for you to know about such thing. And for the contrast, paint swatches which weren't heat fixed smudge with the lightest touch. Now you can definitely appreciate of how important it is to hit fix the design, can't you? Wow, this is an eye opener, right? If at this moment you are feeling confused about jacquard textile paints, let me lay it out for you in simple words. This line of paints will get the job done. Uh, it will not wash away or bleed if you will iron it for at least three minutes. The rubbing test, where you could have seen traces of pigment on the fabric, does not tell us that uh, the paint is going to smudge or uh, wash off during laundry. It only means that, yes, some small amount of pigment might go away. But instead of talking, I better show you the real examples of painted clothing where I uh, used jacquard textile colors on many months ago. First example uh, would be this t-shirt, which I'm right now wearing. This is a first project of painting on textile in uh, Fabric Painting Foundations Open Course. Uh, you can uh, join and check it out. Uh, this is jacquard textile colors, uh, paints used straight from the jar. I slightly mixed the colors to achieve the pastel shades. Uh, T-shirt feels great, the colors uh, stay put after laundry uh, for several times. Another T-shirt uh, where I use straight from the jar uh, paint for, to achieve splatters uh, is uh, at the moment not with me, but I have pictures of it. Uh, since it's an abstract work, there was only one paint layer all around, 
Unfortunately, I don't have this uh, t-shirt by my side right now, but I can tell you that uh, it's been worn uh, for far too long and um, uh, obviously I washed it many times and the colors remained just as bright as in the beginning. I'll repeat again, they were, I did not uh, dilute this paint. I used it straight from the jar to achieve splatters and obviously there was just one paint layer. I had fixed the paint and uh, washed the t-shirt several times and the paint stayed put. The other example, uh, which is partially bright, partially faded, uh, is the design which I made on fabric. Uh, trying to achieve watercolor effect by somewhat diluting paint with uh, water. Uh, Jacquard brand recommends uh, diluting its paints uh, for use in fabric uh, with the ratio of not more than 25% of water uh, to be added into the paint mix. But on my personal experience, I'd absolutely avoid adding any water into Jacquard uh, textile colors as long as your paint is fresh because otherwise the brightness does go away. Can we use Jakartic style on denim? How many layers should there be? Could we use it on dark textiles? How soon does the paint change its texture? And so many other questions. If you have them, please write them in the comment section below this video. This is your chance to get it answered in the next questions and answers video dedicated to Jacquard textile colors exclusively. Meanwhile, I as always thank you for your time and we'll see you soon. Goodbye!